This is part 7 on how to optimize your Claw 8. In this video I'll talk about three main things. The first thing is image sharpening. Now previously in my videos I showed you guys that the Tooth and Claw software, which I will show you how to get in this video, it comes with an image sharpening um, option, which if you turn it on can make the image a lot sharper in most of your games. However, I said in my previous video that in some of the games it did not work. So in this video, I will show you how to make sure that the image sharpening works in every single game because there is a setting you need to change. So if you open the quick setting overlay and then go to tooth and claw, as you guys can see, there is image sharpening here. And basically, previously, when I turned this on, it did not work. So in this video, I will show you guys how to make sure that when you turn this image sharpening on, it always works, no matter which game you are playing. The second thing I want to talk about is the quick settings overlay. So if I bring the quick settings overlay, sometimes it does not load or it takes too long. So in this video, I will show you guys a few different ways to make sure how this always works and is very responsive every single time. And finally, I will talk about the best power mode because depending on which game you are playing, if you do not have the correct power mode on, you may not be getting the best performance for that particular game because different games require different power modes. So in this video, I will show you all these three different settings on how to fully optimize your Claw 8. In my previous videos, I have talked about Things like CP boost, updating BIOS, VRR, how to get a quick settings alternative, how to change your VRR range. But in this video, these are the three things I will talk about. So make sure you guys like and subscribe so I can continue making these videos. Also comment down below and let me know if you found any of these tips useful. So let's go ahead with step number one, how to fix the image sharpening tool. If you click on the link, it will take you to the Tooth & Claw page. So in case you have not got this already, make sure you get this by clicking on View in Store, Open Store. And in here, as you can see, it says Installed because I have already installed it. But for you, you just click on Install and it will go ahead and install it once it has been installed. Actually, guys, as you can see, it looks like there has been an update. I'll just wait for the update. So once you have downloaded it or updated it, it should say installed, as you can see. Once it has been installed, then all you have to do is launch the game that you want to try it on. So I will just launch Resident Evil 4. Now, in my previous video, I showed you guys that in Resident Evil 4, no matter what I did, the image sharpening did not work. So let's go ahead and try it now. So at the moment, if I go to the quick settings overlay and I go to the color remaster tab, as you can see, I have turned image sharpening on. So let me just turn it off. Now, if I look around in the game, I can see that it looks a bit blurry because it's only running at 800p and this is a 1200p screen. So it does not look as sharp as it should. So to make it sharper, usually what you have to do is go to the Tooth & Claw software and all the way down, just turn this on to like 100% and then go back to the game and usually it will make it sharp. But for some reason, you know, it does not work. So how do you fix this? All you have to do is you have to make sure that you go into the in-game settings and in here, just change the display mode to borderless okay now if you go back as you can see it's much much sharper so now the image sharpening has been applied because all you had to do is change from full screen to borderless so if i go to the quick settings overlay as you can see it is on at 100 percent and it looks very sharp but if i turn this off now the game looks like before it looks much smoother and much uh, blurrier so let me go back and turn it on so now i'll turn it back on and i can immediately see how much sharper and clearer the image looks so make sure you guys you know turn the 
window mode to borderless and not full screen for each game that you want the sharpening to work on. The second thing I want to talk about is how to fix the quick settings overlay. So for example, if I press the button on the right here, this should bring up the quick settings overlay, but sometimes it takes too long and is very unresponsive or it doesn't work at all in some games. So I'll show you how to fix this to make sure that it always works and is much more responsive. So what you have to do is click on the link in the description. Now this is from MSI. So this is not a third party software, it's from MSI. And they have provided a MSI Center M Clean tool. So basically you just click on this, open it and it will tell you to uninstall all. And basically this will uninstall MSI Center M and the quick setting overlay. The reason for this is because once you uninstall it and reinstall it, it will be much more responsive and much better. So click on uninstall all and then after a few minutes, you should get a message saying that the MSI Center M has been successfully uninstalled. Click on OK and now you have to reinstall it. You have the instructions here, but I'll show you how to do it. So after you've uninstalled it, click on the link that I provided in the description. It will take you to this page and in this page, click on the first option here scroll down click on utilities and others so once you click in here you will get the latest version of msi center m you just have to download this and once this has been downloaded you will get a much better and more responsive quick settings overlay so that's one way to fix it. Now there are a few other things you can do to maximize the efficiency of the quick settings overlay. So once you have reinstalled the quick settings overlay, what you have to do is apps on the left. Once you click on apps, you will get these options. So what you have to do is you have to click on installed apps. And in here, what you're looking for is MSI Center M. So scroll down to where it says MSI Center M. And also MSI Quick Settings. And what you want to do is you want to click on these three dots here on each of these. So go to Advanced Options. And as you can see right now, it says let this app run in the background and the option selected is Power Optimized. What you want to do is click on this option and make sure it says always so that it becomes more responsive and always opens when you click the button okay so go back and do the same for the other two so now i will go back into the msi center m and then i will do the same for the second option actually you can't change the second option so just change it for the quick settings so msi quick settings click on the three dots advanced options and as you can see I have already selected always so make sure this is as always once you have done this what happens is you will find that when you press the quick settings overlay button it's much more responsive than before and much quicker there is one more thing you can do to make sure that it's more responsive and much better than before is while you are in the installed apps settings Go all the way down until you see system components and in here click on the game bar as you can see. So three dots of the game bar, advanced options and make sure that this let the system component run in background is selected as always as you guys can see. And the other thing you want to do is click on reset what this will do is this will reset the cache and will make sure that the game bar you know when you press this button that it responds much more effectively so click on reset click on reset and then it will go ahead and reset your game bar and make it much more responsive so wait for this to finish now it has been done and it should be more responsive. The first time you open it should take a little bit longer than it should because it has just been reset. But once it's opened, it will be, as you guys can see, much more responsive and should always work from now on.
the last thing I want to talk about is choosing the best power mode for each game that you are playing Resident Evil 4 for this example so to show you which power mode I'm currently on let me go to the settings so on this battery icon double click on the battery percentage and it will take you to the power and battery settings and in here as you can see currently I have set the power mode to best performance on battery so currently I'm using the best performance power mode okay so most of you might be using this option to get the best performance and it can work in some games but I'll show you if it's effective in this particular game the best performance mode is currently turned on so I'll go back into the game and in here I will just look around and see what kind of FPS I'm getting so it looks like I am going into the 50s and maybe slightly more than 60 FPS but if I move around it's going under 60 FPS so high 50s so this is what I get with the best performance I'll just go back into the settings leaving everything the same so I'm just going to change the setting from best performance to best power efficiency and see if that you know has an effect on the performance of the game so now I'll go back into the game and if I look at the FPS now is going even into the 70s so before we were getting you know under 60 now is hitting the high 60s so around 68 FPS so before it was going into like 59 58 now is going to around 68 so on average you are getting a boost of 10 FPS so 10 FPS more when you change the power mode from best performance to best power efficiency but this does not apply in every single game in some games you may need to select best performance mode however in GPU intensive games such as Resident Evil 4 make sure you select the correct power mode for the best performance make sure you like and subscribe so i can continue making these videos also comment down below and let me know if you found any of these tips useful thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one